Need to hard reset your MacBook Air? Have you tried everything and your MacBook continues to run slow? Or do you just want a fresh start? In this video, we will show you how you can hard reset your MacBook Air and get it running like it's fresh from the factory. Step number one, create a backup. Before we begin explaining how to factory reset your MacBook, it's very important to understand this is a permanent process and you will lose everything on your computer. So it's important to begin by performing a backup of your computer. You can do this by using the Time Machine app on your MacBook. First, start by attaching an external hard drive to your MacBook. Then, launch the Time Machine app and select Backup Disk, which will be the name of your drive you attached. The amount of time this process takes varies based on how much data you have on your MacBook. Step number two. Sign out of iTunes. Launch iTunes and in the top iTunes window, choose Account, Authorizations, and then Deauthorize this computer. You will be prompted to enter your Apple ID and password, and then click Deauthorize. Step number three, sign out of iCloud. If you're currently running the latest macOS Catalina or later, you will navigate to Apple menu, System Preferences, then click Apple ID. Select Overview in the sidebar, then click Sign Out. If you're using macOS Mojave or earlier, choose Apple Menu, System Preferences, click iCloud, then click Sign Out. You will be asked whether to keep a copy of your iCloud data on this Mac. You can click Keep a Copy because you're erasing your Mac later. Your iCloud data remains in iCloud and any other devices that are signed in to iCloud with your Apple ID. Step number four, sign out of iMessage. Open the Messages app, then choose Messages, Preferences from the menu bar, click iMessage, then click Sign Out. Step number five, erase your MacBook. Turn on your Mac then immediately press and hold Command and R until you see an Apple logo or internet recovery image. Then you may let go of those keys. Now from the utilities window in the macOS recovery, select Disk Utility and click Continue. Select Macintosh HD in the sidebar of Disk Utility and then click the Erase button in the toolbar. Then enter the requested details. You can leave the default name of the drive as Macintosh HD and continue to use APFS or macOS Extended as recommended by Disk Utility. Now go ahead and hit Erase. Now you can quit Disk Utility to return to the Utilities window. And from here you select Reinstall macOS from the Utilities window in macOS Recovery. Then click Continue and follow the installer's instructions. And once the macOS has been installed, you'll be prompted to select your language. So at this point, if you're selling a your MacBook to someone, you can just shut down your machine, else you can continue. Let us know if this video helped you out in the comment section below. And if you appreciated this video, please, we'd be grateful if you hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel.